Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 50, and uh, we finished our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia, and uh, it was an interesting run. It was a fun look through a, a game that I enjoyed playing a lot far longer ago than I care to mention or care to think about too, too vigorously. Uh, although, given that uh, I, I was just informed by a co-worker today that Nirvana is now playing on some of the classic rock stations. A moment of silence for that. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, uh, is, is this what it's like to get old? I guess this is what it's like to get old. I'm really trying not to think about that. So, episode 50 season wrap up we we finished playing through illusion of gaia uh and, and this is where i usually go over the things that worked well the things that didn't work so well and what i need to try to carry forward into the next season but i wanted to kind of stop and take a look at a a couple of stats as we lean as we lean into that uh season one of games revisited we played star wars knights of the old republic uh, computer, RPG, uh, turn-based, yada yada, all well, sort of turn-based if you wanted to run it that way. Um, really fun game. That ran for 26 weeks. And at that time, I was doing a two and a half to three hour live stream and just uploading the whole live stream archive start to finish as it was. Uh turns out that was not the smartest move to make that it was one of those things where I really should have done something shorter because one of the one of the when people bothered to comment one of the frequent comments was that the episodes were too long and, and it was really hard to sit down and watch a, a two and a half hour or three hour episode uh, so for season two, we did Chrono Trigger. That took about 14 weeks and we got 80 episodes out of that. Now, I know you're going to math that out and that doesn't exactly work out quite the way you think it does. The idea was to try to do six episodes a week, but there was a couple of weeks in there where because I was sick or, or something was going on, I, I didn't get the full six episodes in a given week. And uh, But we did wrap it up with a total of 80 episodes at, uh, over the course of 14 weeks. And that went better. That's when I started the format that I used in season three and again in season four. And, and given the way it's been working, I'm going to continue using it in season five. Uh, that's where the live stream is two and a half, two, two and a half ish hours, depending on uh, various factors. And I'm basically, the, the live stream is a live to tape recording of the next six episodes of the show. So I do my intro, I play for 20-ish minutes, my goal is 20 minutes an episode, and I'm giving myself about a three to five minute leeway either side of that, just depending on where the where a good stopping point in the game is, because I'm not going to I'm not going to stop in the middle of a boss battle and go oh 20 minutes is up and, and cut the episode right there. Um, yeah, you know, so finish that out and do that kind of thing. I, I did that in season two. It worked out pretty well. Same for season three. And again, here in season four, and I've been making minor tweaks to the formula, but that really does seem to be working well. Um, one of the things that's come up uh, in seasons two, three, and the current season four uh, is that on the live stream, some people are getting a little confused about, because uh, I'm doing an outro, six times throughout the stream and they think maybe it might be done and it's not um that that unfortunately as much as i would like to change it like i would love to have a pre-recorded outro that i just splice in on the editing table and, and call that done um the only problem with that is that significantly increases my editing time i at the time of recording and at the time we've done the last all, all the previous seasons, I'm working a 40 hour a week job. So I'm doing 40 hours a week uh, for work. I'm doing the games revisited stream and I'm working on the coffee craft server with the coffee craft people. 
that that's also live streamed on Tuesdays. And, and I'm, I need to I need to uh, hash out some similar stuff on that end as well. So it's one of those things that uh, it, it is working a little bit better, but there's there's room for improvement. I just I need the time. If it wasn't for the fact that I went into work, got home from work, ate a quick dinner, showered, and then jumped on air, um, and then I got to get up again early tomorrow morning, I, I, I wouldn't mind putting in a little more editing time. I wouldn't mind doing it such that uh, that that it took just a smidge more. And, and one of the things that I could do is I, I could try to move... I, I could probably try to move Games Revisited to Friday and maybe set it up so that way Friday I do the live stream. That gives me Saturday and Sunday to do the editing and then schedule the release days so it'll release out Monday through the following Saturday. Um, and that way I'm just a smidge ahead of the live release. Uh, right now, at this moment, my, my Friday is open again. It wasn't at the time I started Season 4. Uh, it definitely wasn't during Seasons 2 or 3. That's part of why Games Revisit has always been on a Thursday. So, between now and next week, I, I will definitely be considering that option. That uh, it, might, it might end up changing. So... Keep an eye on the schedule on Twitch. Keep an eye on the Twitter channel because I might be I might be changing up the uh, schedule based on uh, on possibly changing up the way I edit and publish and the timeline that that happens in. So do 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 be mindful of that. Uh, and, and really, that that is the biggest thing. Although on the other hand, if I don't. I still need to make sure that I insert cue points to make the editing a little bit better. Uh, so I'll have to work out the logistics of that. Um, and, and since we're on the subject of doing the uh, the wrap up and, and things that went well and things that didn't, uh, my intro has been pretty solid and consistent. It's the outro that's been uh, all over the place, all over the place. I, I thought I had a really decent write up earlier on in the season and a, and a, a very good honest friend said you, you know that the 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 youtube section sounds kind of insulting like you're being uh i, I won't repeat the words because i'm trying to, i'm trying to keep it family friendly and, and so uh I, I keep playing with the outro wording and i haven't consistently hit it i don't i still don't consistently like it um and that would be one of the things that I would need to do if I'm going to do the pre-recorded outro and splice it in on the edit instead of uh, doing it live in in the middle of things. Uh, but on the other hand, once I nail it, uh, I'll have it for the season. So six and one, half dozen the other. Although I'm not entirely fond of pre-recorded outros. Only because uh, you do get some differences in the audio quality on the mic. Uh, there's always some variability from day to day just based on your voice, based on the temperature, based on the humidity, uh, other conditions in the area. And, and I, I and even dress. And, and so I find it kind of jarring that you just watched an episode and, and I'll have had, you know, black shirt good you know uh, marginal mic pickup for one reason or another and then all of a sudden you, you get a difference on the ending so it's one of those things that i definitely have to try to make sure that the the production value looked different enough that it wasn't jarring maybe I don't know. And, and that's assuming that I do that because I, I could get to the end of the week and decide, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep going the way I've been rolling because one of the one of the other problems is I'm I'm supposed to be recording some Coffee Craft episodes. I've been uploading the live stream archive and people have been going, your episodes are too long. Well, that's because they're not episodes. They're the live stream archive. Um, so <laughs> I need to get actual episodes going, too. So. I'm not hearing, well, yeah, but your episodes are too long. 
that's because they're not episodes. And, and that, that, but that's a, that's a side matter for the other one. Oh, and changing the wording. Like I, I keep calling the show games revisited and I'm going to continue referring to it as games revisited, but the YouTube channel is definitely going to just go let's play in the game name. Uh, because nobody's looking for games revisited. They're looking for let's play or the game name. And I don't, I don't want to confuse people by using cutesy terms. So that, that part's going to stay the same. That's a change that I made this season. That seems to have worked out pretty well. Uh, I think I changed it in most of, in most of the previous season playlists. So that way the playlist title shows, right? I might go back and actually re-edit all the episode titles. Because I'm really going to need to go back anyway and do some of the end screen stuff. If you've noticed when I record this, I leave myself about eight seconds of end screen before I go to the screen where I chat with you guys while I get stuff set up for the next episode. And the intent was to leave that space there to do, you know, the usual YouTube end screen theater. Links to the playlist, links to the previous episode, uh, links to the channel and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and while that's been a nice idea, it, it's become, it's become a time thing again. You know, Thursday night comes, I've worked a full day. I then stream two and a half hours. I've got to do the quick editing, which, uh, the way I'm, I've been doing it has been relatively quick. Uh, I load the recording from XSplit into the XSplit editor. Uh, they, they've got a really nice, uh, simplistic but it's still nice for what it is editor that actually gives me cue marks for where all the scene transitions are so i look for the scene transition from the title slide into the beginning back up three seconds insert a cut i look for the transition from the end into the title slide eight seconds cut export that selection bam done repeat six times uh, which means the editing takes all of about 20 minutes ish, give or take, depending on if one of my roommates is asking me questions about something or other. Uh, so that, that gives me a really short turnaround time up to YouTube and YouTube won't let you add the end screen stuff until after the videos uploaded. And it's at least processed the SD version of the video. Which, that part kind of sucks. So that means that while I'm here in the mode of doing stuff, I can't do anything with it. And then Friday comes, and I up until recently I had Friday stuff to do, and, and so that didn't happen. And then the weekend comes, and I've got all the weekend stuff to do. Uh, you know, server maintenance for the Coffee Craft server, server maintenance for the website, uh, just a variety of other things. So... My concern is that if I push the editing to the weekend, it might not happen. On the other hand, it might allow me the opportunity to do all that end screen stuff while I'm in the mode, uh, which is also drifting away from the original point that took me down this rabbit trail that when I go back to edit the titles for uh, for all the other ones to, to just be like the game episode one, uh, the game episode two like I did for Illusion of Gaia, um, that I'll go ahead and try to fix all the end screen stuff on the playlist as well. So it'll all link up like it should have from the, from the beginning. Um, so, uh, yeah, just checking my list. And that's kind of where things went. Uh, by and large, the the season went well, production wise. the The numbers were the numbers were kind of disappointing. But that's because I have overly optimistic expectations for myself. It's a year and a half since I started streaming, and I was kind of hoping I have a little bit more traction by now. But I also haven't been pushing the channel. You know, I've just been kind of producing content and hoping that one day somebody will see, um, which in some cases it has, but I, I've noticed that unlike the Minecraft stuff, the games are revisited stuff. I, I'll, I'll get somebody that comes along just for the duration of the game that they care about. 
which is fun and nice, but sometimes discouraging. You know, like there was there was a there was a couple of people that watched every Chrono Trigger episode. Uh, one of them even commented on most of the most of the episodes that were published on YouTube, and that was awesome. And and then once once the Chrono Trigger stuff was done, uh, I haven't seen them. And, and the then the view numbers uh, went from one regular to a different regular because a different crew came in that liked Portal, and but it wasn't the same size, it wasn't the same cohort, and. and when your when your channel's small, you notice those fluctuations a lot more. Like I, I'm I'm pretty sure that you know some of the bigger streamers have the have the same fluctuation as they do different projects or from day to day, from week to week. But when you've got you know a hundred thousand viewers, that's different than when you have ten or a hundred. Um, I so. I don't know. That, that that's just a little bit. That that's a me problem. Uh, I gotta I gotta actually start promoting the channel more, pushing it out more. I, I think I've finally settled into a comfort level with what I'm doing and how I'm doing it that I would feel more comfortable. Like during season one, I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't have pushed that one all that hard. I wouldn't. A lot of it was very rough. Some of the scene stuff was rough. Uh, the whole two and a half hour, three hour upload was rough. Uh, since it, uh, it has since gotten better. So now I need to start looking at ways to promote the channel to, to get people to, to, to spread the word. Um, cause I, I've got a, I've got a couple of goals that I really need to start pushing for. One of which is to get 50 followers on Twitch. That is the next milestone to unlock certain things for the streamer side is I need 50 followers to make that happen and an average of six viewers a day no three three viewers a stream yeah an average of three and I keep hitting like an average of two point something um, going up and down as as time goes so that that is one of the that, that's one of the one of the things I'm trying to balance out as I go about this and yeah, it, it's, it, it's a little, it's a little frustrating sometimes. Um, so I guess that is that that's the, the bulk of the good, the bad and the ugly as, as far as season four went. Uh, I do like the console games. I, I like some of the games I picked because I was expecting to move and then COVID hit. Uh, that's why I did Portal when I did because I needed something short and that didn't require any prep. And then not knowing when the pandemic was going to end, I wanted something that was linear and didn't require any prep. Um, and then just as I'm trying to play in the next game, I, I get told that uh, it looks like November I'll be transferring to a different part of the company for a new position, which will be awesome. And I may do a write-up on my website. I haven't actually written anything in a long time, a depressing time. Uh, and so I probably ought to do something about that too. That That is on my to-do list is to actually write something on the website other than uh, uh, a post for each episode. So anonjunior.com for that. And uh, that has links to everything else that I do. So that is pretty much the good, the bad, and the ugly. I am 90% sure that Season 5 will be Knights of the Old Republic 2, the second game in the series. I didn't choose it out the gate because I didn't want this to become a Star Wars channel. You know, so I didn't want to do Knights of the Old Republic 1, then Knights of the Old Republic 2, and then have somebody watch Chrono Trigger pop up and go, what just happened? I thought you were a Star Wars guy. Well, not not like that. Not like that. Um, so this is where I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to try to get, I'm going to try to get an outro that I actually like. I mean, it's episode 50 and uh, it's one of those things where, yeah, there, there's a lot of different ways you can help out the channel. If you haven't already follow on Twitch, 
You'll get notified when I go live. I stream twice a week, at least, at least twice a week. And Tuesdays has been Coffee Craft. That's probably going to stay pretty firmly scheduled. Up until now, Thursdays has been Games Revisited, but that might change beginning next week. Keep an eye on Twitter for that. Keep an eye on the schedule on Twitch for that. That might change. Not 100% certain. I will definitely have something out by next week, one way or the other. And uh, either way, everything I do gets uploaded to YouTube. So if you haven't already, subscribe to YouTube. You can do the little bell thing thingy to get the notifications if you like that sort of thing. And um, But either way, subscribe. Even if you don't plan on watching on YouTube, subscribe. That way it helps let the algorithm, the algorithm, know that, that this is a thing that people are interested in and maybe somebody else will come by and watch. Because I, I notice that some people... They, they just prefer to watch it on YouTube. It's when they whenever they get a chance to. Some people like watching live so they can chat. And uh, I, I will try to make that chat, oh, no, that way, that chat window a little more prominent um, in some of my other stuff because I really like the way that's been turning out in Games Revisited. And um, either way, if you can consider supporting the show, because like I, like I said at the beginning, I'm running this whole thing out of my back pocket. So if you're enjoying the content, if you're getting value out of it, then consider going to live.anonjunior.com and give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cup of coffee. So um, that is it for episode 50. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you for the next go around.